What's up world? Welcome back to another tutorial where we will be discussing today this stuff. All of this stuff. What you see right in front of you. Not me. This. Uh, you see we have from 0 to 10 and more. Uh, this is just going to be the introduction to a new series that I'm going to be putting out over metal shading language again. But since Apple uh, released Metal 2 last year, I think there's some updates that we need to make. And I've also learned a lot in the past maybe nine months on a better organization of our code to make a better game engine. Oh, did I say game engine? That's right. We're not making a graphics engine, we're making a game engine because I know you people out there wanna make games and uh, you'll, you wanna go into more in-depth things such as collision detection and maybe physics. And, and also graphics at the same exact time. So we're gonna cover all that in this series and I'm gonna make this series go on as long as I possibly can. This is just the beginning. Uh, I know my last series was a little obnoxious. Some of the episodes were about two hours long and I know some of you might have made it through and I was impressed through all the comments, but a lot of you probably didn't also. So um, moving forward into this series, it's gonna be less, a little, uh, easier to swallow you know chew it into smaller bites so it's easier to swallow i think that's the metaphor yeah uh so uh let's just talk about what i'll be doing in this next these aren't episode 0 0 0.5 this is just kind of an idea of what we're going to be going over so right here we're going to start with introduction and that's right here that's what i'm doing uh this is the introduction welcome Around here in 0 0.5, uh, probably the next episode, I'm just gonna show you around Xcode, probably show you how to download Xcode if you don't know what that is, um, and then show you how to get some resources, uh, such as, you know, on the web, there's some good websites, and then there's some good books you can look into for game engine architecture, and then we'll cover some other stuff. But uh, this right here, just encompassing, getting us set up to understand what the hell we'll be talking about. Um, just a heads up, this is not a Swift tutorial. I'm not teaching you how to code in Swift. I'll, I might cover some cool little aspects of Swift, but it's not gonna be a Swift tutorial. I expect you to know that coming in. But you do not need to know any game engine programming slash uh, metal programming, GPU, none of this stuff. I will show you everything. Um, this is supposed to be a tutorial that covers, you know, game engine programming. So uh, get, get ready, you know. Hold on to your butts. Uh, after that, we'll get into app creation, window creation, and folder layout. That'll be just us starting up the projects. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick episode on key input and mouse input. So we have that instantiated before we even get into any of the uh, heavier duty stuff. Duty, <laughs> done with the laughing. Uh, so we'll do key input, mouse input. Um, after that, we'll get into some code, some legit code, where we'll be discussing what the hell the render pipeline is, and what the hell metal is, uh, and why metal is better than anything else. Okay, it's not better than anything else. It might be better than some things, but we'll talk about the importance of what metal does opposed to OpenGL or DirectX. Um, we'll go into a vert we'll create our vert first vertex fragment shader. Uh, we'll talk about how to make your first hello triangle because everyone's got to start with their hello triangle and then we'll make maybe we'll draw a quad on the screen too uh and quad is more of like a rectangle uh we'll discuss in this area not in the same episode maybe a couple episodes but uh, i want to go into the game engine layout uh the file layout the folder structure so that um because I, I, I plan on implementing libraries and uh, managers in this one so that we're, we're going to be using more of a singleton engine object and then initialize all the assets and grab the assets when we need them so we're not lazy loading them and taking up space and time like I'm doing right now. Uh, this stuff will all be covered. It'll be pretty sweet. I've got some pretty slick ideas on how to make a sweet game engine. Uh, episode four is kind of tied into these, but we're going to set up our scene graph. So we'll create a node and then you'll we'll render all the nodes nodes and it's basically a tree. They call it scene graph. This should be called scene tree, but they, I don't know. They, they've, whatever. Scene graph, scene tree. Uh, episode five, we'll talk about the game loop and drawing and maybe even rendering the frames per second and how the NS view does the game loop. Uh, around episode six or 
this area, we'll go into the maths. Let's get into some 3D maths. You wanna blow your friend's mind with how the hell three-dimensional space works? This is where we wanna be. Um, I'm gonna split these out into some, like a lot of sectional videos so that it's not just all of this covered at once. Cause this stuff's really, this is probably one of the most pivotal things of understanding how three-dimensional games work. Uh, we'll go, and then once, so yeah, so once we have the math all set up, we'll go into 3D, 3D, we'll draw our cube. A cube, just a cube, that's all we need for three-dimensional space. Um, and then uh, along these lines, maybe up here we'll do a camera also, because we'll wanna move that about the world. And then um, also with the camera, we'll probably do like, fl uh, make us able to fly around the world. So, I can't spell things. So when we debug here, um, it's a little easier. Also, I wanna point out that probably somewhere up here, I'll go into debugging because debugging is really, really important in this series. We will be going over how to pass data to the GPU. That's right, folks, the GPU. And knowing what data exists on the GPU is probably just as important as any of the stuff you see right here. So we'll go over debugging. That will be its own episode. Uh, once we get through, you know, once we get 3D started, uh, we can go into cooler stuff such as model loading and lighting. So we'll load models customly and use Apple's awesome MTK loader. Um, I've written a parser and it's slow. We're still gonna use it. Don't you stop me because we need to understand this stuff. We're not just coding from the top down or from we're not starting with unity okay we're starting from the from scratch so we understand all the lower levels um, so once we get past loading all of our models we'll go into lighting uh basic blend fawn oh bin fa blend fong shading like everybody does when they first start uh, and then we'll jump into some texturing and then there's a bunch of other stuff that i couldn't list out right here because it was just too <laughs> i gotta put it over here but i think i'm rendering pictures over here doesn't matter but yeah, so that's that's what we'll be covering in the next couple episodes. Uh, hold on to your butts. This is going to be fun. I've got a brand new microphone. I've got a brand new computer. I've got a freaking drawing. Look at I'm drawing things. That's pretty cool. Uh, can you do that? I bet you, you might be able to do that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, when we get into it, I... So without further ado, let's jump into it and start showing you around metal. Thanks for watching.